Hello and welcome to Conquering Alba, where we take you to the historical places that make Scotland what it is today. Today we are in Dumfries and Galloway as we visit Drumcoltrain Tower. Drumcoltrain Tower was home to a minor branch of the Maxwells of Kerlabrook. It is a typical L-plan tower house, though usually its corners are rounded, not angled. The tower was built by Edward Maxwell, a younger son of Lord Maxwell. The tower sits gently on the north side of a valley. The site was probably chosen because it controlled the main road from Dilfries to Dalbite, rather than any defensive strength. The tower belonged to the Maxwell family from 1570, but passed on the estates to the Irvings in 1668. Internally, the tower is fairly straightforward in design. The ground floor comprises a vaulted room originally used for storage and from the 1700s also home to the kitchen complete with a fireplace. The windows you see in the ground floor today would have comprised the defensive effectiveness of the tower house and were added later in the tower's life. Climbing the spiral stairs brings you to the first floor. The wooden floors of the second floor and garret eventually rotted away and were removed in the early 1900s. You are left with an imposing space rising all the way to the restorated roof. As originally built, the first floor was a single room used as the hall. When the ground floor was converted into a kitchen, the fireplace on the first floor was reduced in size and the second fireplace was later added when the first floor was divided into three rooms in the 1800s. The remains of the fireplaces on the higher levels of the wall show that the second floor was divided into two rooms. One was reached directly from the spiral staircase, while the other had a door to the short passage within the wall, leading out onto the spiral stairs. The site of the doorway now provides an excellent view into the main space at this level. When you reach the top of the tower, you are protected by the high parapets. The parapet walk 
Acton Room Coltrane Tower is about 40 feet from its base. The walk extends around three sides of the roof of Drum Coltrane Tower. It gives an excellent sense of the landscape and in particular the way the tower house has been incorporated into the farm that it now virtually surrounds. It is actually less incorporated into the farmyard buildings than it used to be. The castle was, for much of its life, physically connected to a house immediately to its southwest. We hope you have enjoyed today's video here at Drumcoltrane Tower. If you wish to see more of Scotland's historical sites then please like and subscribe for more. Until next time, Alba Gobra.